Welcome to the shop everyone. On today's video, I want to go back through what I did to get a good piston to valve clearance check on this big block 454 build to make sure it wasn't going to be a valve eating monster. Now, this is something you want to do pretty early in the engine build. I had done it after part two of the engine build after I had the cam degreed in. Now the reason I want the cam degreed in before I did it is just to make sure that the cam and crankshaft events were in time with each other. And then also at this point I hadn't had the engine balanced because if I had to have the pistons fly cut to get more clearance, I wanted to do that before I had the engine balanced. So there's a lot of things that can impact your piston to valve clearance. Uh, how much your engine's been decked, uh, how much your heads have been milled, the depth of your valves inside your head, your cam events, uh, the type pistons that you buy with how much relief's in the piston itself. So there's just a lot of things to think about, especially on an unfamiliar motor with unfamiliar parts used together to see how well they, they all work together. So I get me some clay and I usually roll me out some around 300 thousandths rolls of clay and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll put them in the piston in the reliefs and I try to spread them apart to where when I use my my calipers I use like the depth part of the caliper and I'll slide it down until it just touches the clay to where I see like where the uh, valve had contacted the clay so that's what I try to do just spread it out just far enough for that and so I do put the head gasket on because your head gasket thickness also can uh, impact your piston and valve clearance a little bit too uh, I don't torque it all the way down uh torque down yeah i don't know exactly but you know it doesn't probably compress no more than five thousandths with it torqued down so i just snug it down a little bit And here what I'm doing, I just like to put a little bit of oil on everything because when I do this, I like for the clay to stay stuck to the piston and not transfer to the head. So this is just an attempt to try to keep the clay from transferring over to the head when I roll the engine over. All right, so let's get that head on there. And right now, I am so happy this is an aluminum head and not a cast iron big block head especially with the studs <laughs> all right just sticking the washers on there and getting some of the ARP nuts on there and just I'm gonna snug it down a little bit Go get the lifters set down in there. Now I had ordered my push rods from when we did the push rod length check, but they hadn't come in yet, so we're still going to be using the push rods we used to get that length that we needed. Go ahead and put the rocker arms on there. Now this cam is a solid lift cam, so that means that you have valve lash that you would adjust into it. I'm gonna do it with zero valve lash. Thank you. 
So since those are checker springs, they're very easy to accidentally push down. So I just wanna make them snug to the valve, but not make sure I'm not pushing the spring down any. Looking good. All right, so for whatever reason, I like to rotate the engine around with like three cycles. I don't feel any kind of interference. I can't even, can't even really even feel it hitting the clay, so. <laughs> All right, so let's get the rocker arms off there. seems to fail the studs are coming out with the, the nuts but I didn't put them in very tight but when I do put them in there for good I'm gonna put silicon onto the threads that actually go into the block because the block threads go into the water jacket then also you want to make sure that when you do that you put the head on and you torque it before the silicon sets up so there's you know you know there's always clearance between threads so you want those threads pulled to the top before that silicon dries but we'll probably go through that on the could be even the next video I go ahead and bolt the heads on for good See there, you know, one of those pieces of clay apparently stayed on the head. So let's go ahead and stick it back on there. So now you can see the imprint of the valve into the clay. All right, so let's get the calipers and see what we got. So I'll try to push it down where it just touches the clay. So we got 220 thousandths, I mean a ton of room. So the intake is really, really great, great condition. So let's do the exhaust. And that's about 238 thousandths. So we have a ton of room on this engine with the components used. So. That's something good to write down and just have there. So if I ever go to a bigger camshaft, no problem. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like, share it, subscribe if you'd like to. All those things really help us out to keep doing these videos. And as always, we thank you guys so much for watching. And we hope to see y'all on the next video.